Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the everlasting curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, I start this episode with one of the sayings of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, the master of martyrs, when he says, A poor man is a stranger in his own town. Misfortune and helplessness are calamities. Our patience is a very kind of bravery. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his life, and mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by his grandfather, the Prophet of Islam, and then ending up with his unparalleled, unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our dear viewers, in the previous episode we spoke about Muawiyah heading to Mecca in order to gather more support for his son Yazid. However, in today's episode we will talk about Imam Hussein going to Al-Walid bin Utbah after the letter sent him a summons and we also will speak about Imam Hussein whether he had paid allegiance to Yazid or not. Our dear viewers, at Yazid's behest, Al-Walid bin Utbah sent a summons to Imam al hussein alayhi salam. Although we know that Imam al hussein alayhi salam possesses knowledge of the unseen, he saw no mystery in why he was being summoned. It could only be to give a pledge of allegiance to Muawiyah's appointed successor, namely Yazid, his son. Knowing that he could never give a, such a pledge to Yazid, Imam al Hussein gathered a group of his companions, telling them to come prepared to fight, if necessary. Shaykh al Mufid, may Allah be pleased with him, records that Al Imam al Hussein told them the following Al Walid has summoned me to come to him. At this time of night, I cannot be sure that he might not burden me with a matter of which I may be unwilling to respond. He is an unpredictable man, so remain with me. When I go to him, sit at the door. If you hear me raise my voice, enter to prevent him from doing anything to me. Our respected viewers, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam then proceeded to visit Walid bin Utbah, who was in the company of Marwan bin Al Hakam. After Al-Walid read out the letter of the accursed Yazid demanding his allegiance, al Hussein, eager to prevent unnecessary bloodshed, responded cleverly. And the response is the following one. I do not see that my pledge of allegiance to Yazid is in private would be sufficient. Would you not prefer me to give it in public so that everyone will know? See what you think about it in the morning and then feed me back. Al-Walid bin Utbah agreed despite the protests of Marwan who told him, if al Hussein leaves without giving an oath of allegiance to Yazid, you will never have the same opportunity until a great number of slain men lay between you and him, in a reference to Al-Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Marwan encouraged Al-Walid bin Utbah to imprison the Imam while he still had the chance and to detain him until either Hussein had given his pledge of allegiance or was executed according to Yazid's orders. Our dear viewers, mind you that the blessed Imam was still present when the foul Marwan uttered these treacherous words. After rebuking him, Al Hussein bin Ali alayhi salam turned and walked out, talking to his loyalists with him. Marwan, enraged, demanded an explanation for what he perceived to be the incompetence of Al Walid bin Utbah. By God, he says, he will never give you the same opportunity over in his life. Yet Al Walid bin Utbah knew full well that he was doing. You had chosen me for something which would have involved the destruction of my own faith, he told Marwan. By God the Almighty, I would not want all the worldly wealth and dominion over which the sun rises and sets. 
if it involve and in killing of Al Hussein alayhi salam, glory be to Allah the Almighty. Should I kill Al Hussein bin Ali simply for refusing to swear allegiance to Yazid bin Muawiyah by Allah the Almighty? The one who would dare to shed the blood of Al Hussein would be like a worthless piece of stone before Allah on the day of judgment. Peace be upon you, our master of martyrs, when you were born and when you were martyred and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.